My opponent's like, wait, he has three quests out there. <laughs> what in the world? Huh. This should be interesting. Alright. Questing Explorer is excellent. Okay, so here is a real hunter matchup. And Swarm of Lo Oh, so we go second, okay. That's why. Um, Swarm of Locusts is a little bit too slow, but Bone Wraith is actually pretty good. We can coin it on three if we need to, depending on how <laughs> depending on how aggressive he is. Uh, Swarm of Locusts, we got rid of you, and yet you came back immediately. I don't mind you, it's just... Um, I would love a, you know, nice turn three if we don't need Bone Wraith. Or something else <laughs> that we can play before turn six or turn five. All right, Dire Wolf must really like the adjacent buff one. I think it's the adjacent buff one. I don't think it's the all your beasts are uh, plus one. Okay. Licensed Adventure is no better than Questing Explorer here. Uh, they both die to the 3-2. And this one's a little stickier. If he uses a Corrosive Breath, either of them die. So, no benefit there. We don't have any Rush Minions or Rush Generators in hand. So, we might need to uh, coin... The only way to kill the two, three face stalkers use Unleash the Hounds here, which I really don't want to do. We can Licensed Adventurer, and then next turn we can double coin Swarm of Locusts. Okay. And unfortunately, because that will complete without giving us the Griffin, we don't want to play Clear the Way here. Alright, so next turn. A turn four Swarm of Locusts actually feels pretty good, so I'm not so sad that we ended up getting uh, Swarm of Locusts right back. It's not great into an explosive that he'll probably have after this goes off, but... Freezing Trap. He's two costs more, but he gives us another coin. Okay, that's fine. Uh... And now we get one more Locust. So, quest is further along. <laughs> uh, do they run Explosive? Well, it could be Highlander, too. That's entirely possible. He just has a Dragon Hunter-esque start. But... It could be... Does Face Hunter run Fairy Dragon and Big Ol' Whelp? No, I don't think so. So this is either Highlander or Dragon Hunter. Varanus is not active yet. Not that we want to use it on just one minion. Anyways, well, against a Hunter, it's considerable. We can... Diving Griffin run one of those in Hero Power, or we can clear the way... Diving Griffin. Hold on. That'll give us two mana left over. I do want to get rid of this 5-5, five five, though. So yeah, I think even though it's mana inefficient, we're going to clear the way Diving Griffin. Alternatively, we could just clear the way Bone Wraith, but... All right. My opponent's like, wait, he has three quests out there. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> uh, we've gotten zero progress towards our toxic reinforcements, just because it hasn't quite lined up yet. Uh, and then we've got clear the way is one, and we can actually complete it this turn. Um, the diving griffin does line up really well into that 5-4. Uh, the rest of our three mana, do we want to use it on... Zixor. We could actually licensed adventurer coin Diving Griffin. I do kind of like that. You can count on me. I'm certified. All 
Okay. Next turn we can complete the quest with Zixor. And then... Or complete this quest. <laughs> this is still quite a ways out, though 12 progress isn't terrible. Wait, did he kill the griffin? Oh, no, no, no. We haven't summoned the 4-4 four, four griffin yet. Okay. Alright, it's definitely worth to Bone Wraith now. Um, and I do kind of like just dropping Zixor, even though he's not getting the rush value. Alternatively, we could Hero Power, but having a 4-4 four, four out there... Admittedly, we're not getting the value out of the rush out of either of these, but we've got a lot of pressure going on. And we need a lot of pressure to close out the game because he's done a lot of damage to our face already. All right, Rush, Divine Shield, probably. Wind Fury, wow. Okay, pumping 12 damage into our um, Bone Wraith, fair enough. I guess I respect it. Well, he couldn't deal with Bone Wraith number one. So, let's give him Bone Wraith number two. Uh, I am gonna go ahead. Wait, how far are we? Three away? Yeah. I don't know that they run Unleash the... Well, Siamat means Highlander. Ooh, okay. Um, so... Um, and Highlander does run Unleash the Hounds. So we've got... That's good. Six. We've got six. He's dead, right? Three plus three plus hero power. So that's eight mana. Push the attack. Okay, we got him. By quite a bit, actually. Worked out pretty well. Uh, we were one more hero power away from summoning Leper Gnomes, and then we had a Terran Gorfine follow up, but we needed to finish him off because we were in trouble if we didn't finish him off there. I like it. 80% um, win rate, but actually 75% win rate because one of our opponents just roped out the entire time. Okay, tracking is way too slow against Demon Hunter. Unleash the Hounds is also a finisher. Diving Griffin can help us deal with something um, problematic. On turn five, if we want to wait that long, it would deal with a, um, what's his name? But it can also just sometimes help us. Deal with a Battle Fiend, early Battle Fiend. Um, here, Dwarven Sniper, or Sharpshooter, Hero Power, Queen Hero Power. Feels pretty good. Oh wow, that's an opener. Um, yeah. So Dwarven Sharpshooter, Hero Power, kill the Battle Fiend off. Next turn we can dive in Griffin if we need to. Never right to just drop the License of Adventure, right? Because we don't want that damage. So yeah, okay. So he does have second slice. He has already used a twin slice, though. Currently, he has to run in one of the minions plus hero power. Um, or second slice. Do we Diving Griffin the 2-2 just to avoid taking any more damage? 
it's gonna get us Zixor or um, other diving griffin. Doesn't feel bad. And either one, we can play Licensed Adventure Coin and play it next turn. So yeah. Okay. The one drawback to that is we lost our nice four damage rusher, and we didn't end up getting the second one. Okay, I still do want to get some board presence against this, but I will go ahead and run in the um, Zixor. Protect the Licensed Adventurer. Uh, alternatively, we could just drop this guy, Hero Power, and Tracking. Now let's do this. This is Board Presence. Our Scavenger's Ingenuity haven't been showing up in um, really any of our games. So Altruist plus Second Slice. Well, no, Second Slice is not in a outcast position. That's second slice. So you can kill maybe the 3 2? Does he kill Zixor here? Really? Our enemies will fall. Ah. Okay. That's interesting. So I'm gonna sharpshooter and hero power the 6 4. And then I've got two mana left over. So tracking uh, a diving griffin actually is pretty great to draw us our Zixar Prime. We're not using it this turn. But yeah. Nothing but a bunch of big bats. Okay. We do have Bone Wraith to stem a little bit of bleeding if we need to. Does it show us what our other options were from tracking? Desert Spear and second tracking. So okay, we can't cycle through our deck so hard, but Desert Spear is not a huge loss in this matchup, unless he plays the weapon that summons two 1-1s. One okay, Diving Griffin cleans that up and gets us Zixor. Uh, alternatively, we run four little 1-1s one and get six or no seven progress towards our quest. If we play Diving Griffin here, all we're doing is hero powering after that. Altruist wrecks this, but lots of progress towards our quest. And we can't follow up uh, with a Zixor turn next turn anyways. So this is more mana efficient and leaves us with some 1-1s one on the board. That if he doesn't have Altruist, he should have some difficulty dealing with it. Okay. I'm glad we're not seeing, uh, we haven't seen Fell Screamer, and we haven't seen, what's her name, uh, Priestess of Fury, because that would be a challenge to deal with. Okay. So we can Bone Wraith Diving Griffin. Excellent timing. <laughs> so we're not getting any value anymore. There's no way to get value out of that anymore, right? Except as an activator for clear the way if we ever top attack it. So now. Um, unleash the hounds here. We'd bump into that. Leave that up. No. Let's get rid of the... 4-2. Um, do we trade these or smack them in the face? Next turn, we've got a really powerful turn with uh, Zixor. So, I mean, we've got a huge turn on 8, a huge turn on 10, do you see what must be and I was afraid Altruis was a possibility. Because if he had Altruis, and we left up five damage, then he could actually punch through a lot. So right now, he's gotta dump everything into this Bone Wraith. So we saved ourselves, uh, like five damage to the face. Or at least a few damage to the face. 
Okay, Zixor Prime cleans these up, gives us some board presence, and gets us really freaking close. Our Scavenger's Ingenuity, because of our wonderful uh, luck with draws, is useless. But, feeling good. He's in top deck mode, as long as he doesn't top deck Priestess of Fury, we're in an excellent spot. Uh, and even Priestess of Fury, we probably survive. That's annoying, but okay. So he is cycling through his deck a little more efficiently than I'd like. Uh, does he kill everything? So he takes 12 to the face. Okay. And punches us for four, probably. Does he hold it back? No, he does not. I don't want to unleash for one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Quest complete. I'm going to go ahead and buff these rather than... Um, use this hero power. So unfortunately, er, he, he no longer has Altruis, uh, so he shouldn't be able to clear this unless he top decks a Priestess. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, Scavenger's Ingenuity doesn't draw anything, right? Yeah, no. Because we've already drawn both our Diving Griffins and both our Zixors. They will never catch me. I mean, he's very dead unless he got Priestess. For now. And even with Priestess, there's a good chance that a couple of them survive. And got to bump in for five each. We took down a Demon Hunter with this. Awesome. Okay, so Toxic Slam Quest has a lot of different ways we can take down our opponent. And subtracting the, let's see, overall it was a five and two, but it was actually a four and two because if we take out the uh, Hunter that just roped the entire time. So still a 66% win rate or a 71% win rate, depending on how you like to count it. Pretty good. I like it. And that's it this time. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to tap that like button, smash that subscribe button, and share your perspective in the comments below. You're awesome. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome day.